Hello everybody, this is Tom from Clean Right, Senior Technician. Today we're going to rebuild or clean a block solenoid. This one I happen to have in my hand is a Kip solenoid setup. It's four block. They're used in pet washes and uh, low pressure systems for the self-service bays and low pressure systems for the automatic. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the jam nut, jam nut off that holds on the coil. Just a matter of loosening it up and it's adjustable. Once they're loose, take it off and remove the coil. Okay, if you're going to do all of the blocks, take all four of them off at the same time. It makes it much easier to work on them. So we're going to take off two of them. Okay, next flathead screwdriver, put in the top of the shaft and turn. Okay, now when you remove this, be careful. The plunger and the spring on the inside will come out. You have that out, okay, now you're going to inspect the plunge into the plunger. Now if it's dissed, bubbled, or any kind of damage done whatsoever so it's not a flat square surface, it needs to be replaced. There is rebuild kits for these that will give you the stem and the plunger and spring assembly. Okay, once that's out and done and cleaned, you have a seat down on in the inside of here where this goes into. It also has an o-ring in it. You're going to inspect that o-ring and make sure it's clean. Make sure it's in one piece, make sure it's not war. Okay clean this section of it out. Now what I normally use is a Q-tip. You can actually use low pressure air to do it with. The easiest way is a Q-tip. Okay, after that's done, a pair of plumber pliers, grab a hold of this base, break it loose. Okay, once it is out, it has two rear rings on it. One goes in here, on the outside of the, uh, on the, outside of the casing. The other one's on the insider. Inspect those, make sure they're not ripped, tore, or wore. Clean it from this side, the same way with either low pressure air or Q-tip. You have three ports in this, two on each side, one on the center. Make sure that they're free and clear. Okay, the next spot, if you tip this up, you have two ports on this. Make sure they're open, free, and clear. Now, if you have this disconnected, if you plug these, and plug one end of it, you can actually put air in here and blow up through the top of it. Most of the time it doesn't need to be done, but if you, you, know, if you, if you can actually see a jam in there and you can't get it out, you can blow it out with low pressure air. Once this is all clean and inspected, go right down the line, do all four of them. When you're done, if you have to replace the O-rings, replace them. If not, screw this back in place, make sure the O-rings are where they belong, they're not getting pinched. Now when you're reassembling this, don't kill it. Now get it finger tight and a little bit more and that's it. The same with the plunger assembly. Make sure that you have the plunger in place, put it down in, screw it in place. Take your screwdriver and snug it. Reinsert the coil. Put back on the lock nuts or jam nuts. Okay, you've, you've completed the repair or the cleaning of this block. Now, repair kits do come for this separately. You can also buy coils for this separately, depending on you know, what you need. You know, don't cheat on what you're doing. If you need to repair, if you need to put a kit in it, put a kit in it, because all it's going to do is just give you more problem down the line. There's times where you will clean out one solenoid, and it still won't work. You need to clean them all, not just one. If the top one plugs up or the bottom one plugs up, it'll also affect the draw on the other ones. So when you're cleaning this block, clean all, all, all of the bank of solenoid, not just one. 